In this video, I'm going to be reviewing and testing out the KitchenAid 5 cup food chopper and it's also available as a mini 3.5 cup size. So stick with me while we check out its features. There's a huge range of colours available. I'm going to be showcasing the Empire Red. To open the lid with the handle facing towards your right side, keep your finger towards the top as close as possible and slide it clockwise towards you. You might find it a little stiff the first couple of times, but it does loosen up with usage. It comes with a removable drive adapter, a multi-purpose blade for chopping and pureeing. And when you want to use the whipping disc, insert the driver and then slide the disc on top into place. The lid has a little basin area so that you can drizzle in liquids. And at the bottom of the base, there's a little housing area to wrap the cord. It's a great countertop size, perfect for singles, couples and small families. I'm going to pop in my blade, add some garlic. I have about three cloves here. Make sure my lever is on chop. And I'm going to keep pulsing until I get a nice fine chop. Okay, that seems about okay. Let's open it up. Oh, and look at that beautiful garlic, nicely chopped. Now the trick here is I didn't fill it up to the top. I only had half a bowl and it came out nice and even. Beautiful. This time I'm going to chop up some ginger. Cut them up into one inch pieces before adding them in. And if you guys are new to my channel, please do consider subscribing. I bring out videos every week. Again, just start pulsing until you get a nice fine chop. Again, beautiful, nice and even, and that looks great. I'm going to add my garlic back in and make this into a paste. I'm going to add some cooking oil, switch the lever to puree, and I'm just going to puree it until it becomes a nice thick paste adding in some more cooking oil as I need. Okay, there we have it, a nice thick paste. And adding the cooking oil will preserve it longer so you can keep it in your fridge for up to a week. Next, I'm going to chop two small onions, cut into one inch pieces first. And when you're chopping, you wanna make sure that there's enough room in the bowl for the food to move around. So you can see that the bowl is only half full. And just like with any food processor really, the food needs space to move around so that it can chop into a nice even size. So if I show you the results of filling the bowl halfway, you can see that there's a nice even chop here. But in this one, I filled up the bowl right to the top. Because there was no room for the onions to move around, everything on top stayed large, but then everything at the bottom just kept getting squished. So all the onions at the bottom just became finely chopped. So I switched it into puree mode and I just made an onion puree out of this. Next I'm going to do some mixed nuts. I have some walnuts, some pistachio, some cashews and also some almonds. Switch the lever on chop and start pulsing away. In the interest of saving time for the purposes of this video, I've just mixed up all the nuts together. So you can see that the almonds and the pistachios, which are slightly harder, are still larger pieces compared to the walnuts and cashews. So if you want to do a mix of nuts, do the harder ones first and then add the rest. So next I want to make an omelette, so I'm going to chop up some tomatoes, some green onions, some spinach, some mushrooms and some coriander. Pop them all in. And with the tomatoes, I'm not putting in the seeds, I'm just going to put on the outer part of the tomato. Switch it on chop. So it's done a pretty good job of chopping everything up evenly other than the odd tomato or spinach. Okay, let's take off the chopping blade, insert the drive adapter with the whisking disc, pop in two eggs, season it with salt and pepper. I'm also going to add some chili flakes in. And when whisking eggs, the manual says to leave it on chop, not on puree, so I don't need to change this. So I can see the flow of the egg changing and I'm going to whisk it for about a minute until I can see a nice buildup of foam in there. 
Add in your chopped vegetables to that and you'll have yourself a nice fluffy omelette. I'm going to try some whipped cream very quickly. Add in the whipped cream without making a mess. Add in some chocolate syrup to give it some flavour. Switch it onto puree and whip away. For whipped cream you want to make sure that you whip no more than 20 seconds otherwise you'll end up with a stiff butter type texture. So I did about 20 seconds and you can see some nice air bubbles in here as well. Alright guys, I hope you found this video useful. I hope to see you in the next video.